someone serves time in jail, transitioning back into society has its challenges. Lawndale Christian Legal Center has teamed up with the Bail Project to help the formerly incarcerated find a job, housing, and more in an effort to break that cycle of reoffending. I talked to the program's executive director, Cliff Nellis, to find out more. We are a community-based violence prevention center that provides free lawyers and wraparound supports uh, for people who are pending, uh, who have cases in Cook County. Uh, our goal is to break the cycle of arrest and incarceration. So you partnered up with the Bail Project. Uh, what is that entailing and what is the partnership doing? Yeah, so about a year and a half ago, we, we formed a partnership with the Bail Project who previously had been uh, posting bond for uh, people going through Cook County and we formed a partnership to deliver what we call community release with support. And so these are social support services, mental health, housing, employment uh, for people that are going through the Circuit Court of Cook County uh, but they're out of custody pending trial. And that's a $2.9 million partnership with the Bail Project. How do you know what people need? Because I imagine every case is very different. Yeah, so we've been in the jail now physically in the basement of 26 in California since uh, April of this year. We've interviewed about 35 500 people and so we've listened and most uh, most of them have identified about 4.5 social needs mm -hmm. uh, and they range from employment to housing to mental health uh, getting back into school mentoring you know the the things that you'd you would expect you got to have some pretty uh, awesome success stories yeah it's been you know uh, people who have stresses in their life once you meet those alleviate those stressors and put them in positions to succeed well they succeed yeah well and i imagine you know you hear about people who end up incarcerated it's usually could be because of a drug or an alcohol problem how do you get those folks because sometimes those folks don't want help how do you get them the help they need you know this was actually one of the biggest surprises for us the what we call the voluntary pickup rate because we're not it's not court ordered it's mm -hmm. not forced and we've had almost a hundred percent of people say yes I'd like support now one of the things we do offer is court uh, text reminders for court dates as okay. well as we have a budget to get actually provide them transportation to court uh, so I think you know everybody's recognizing the value of the services that we provide and in addition to that now they can address some of the things that maybe have been unaddressed in their life for a while so because does everybody go through you or is it certain people and how do they find you guys yeah so we're actually literally located in the basement of 26 California five days a week okay. so we're interviewing everybody that's going up to bond court uh, five days a week Wow yeah what's next for you guys so we have a uh, 18 million dollar transitional housing workforce development center that we're building at 1441 South Keeler. Uh, cool. There will be 20 units of dormitory style housing for young men uh, that either have a case or a closed case in Cook County. Uh, and the goal, goal there is to provide intensive social support services, mental health treatment, uh, mentoring, sort of justice practices, uh, but then connect them to employment, particularly with the trades and unions. So is that is that a stop on their way to another life or do they live there for a long term? What, what's the plan? Yeah, we're expecting them to live there about a one to three years, depending upon where they're at in their in their ability to live independently. For people who are not you know, immersed in this, talk about the need for this type of service out there. Well, I think everybody in Chicago has you know been watching the news and knows you know that crime is a problem mm -hmm. and public safety is not something people are feeling these days. Uh, what we've learned over the last 14 years is that when you concentrate resources in the local community that's easily accessible by people who are from that community uh, and then are very relatable, um, then the chances of them reoffending or being rearrested go down substantially. Yeah, I think a lot of people now understand gone are the days of lock them up and throw away the key. You can't fix the problem that way. Absolutely. It's proven not to work. The Lawndale Christian Legal Center says 96% of their clients attend their court dates with no problem. After starting the program in North Lawndale, they have expanded their legal services to Austin, Little Village, Englewood, and East Garfield Park. If you'd like more information about how you can support or receive their services, visit their site at lclc.net. Call the number you see there on the screen or grab that phone and scan that QR code for more information.